last time we worked on this, I put the rubber rail on. Little small drill bits with a small nails. Tow rail goes on the same way basically, glued and little brads all the way down. And then I file the heads off so they don't show too much. And I put a piece across the stern and a little corner molding, which is a kind of a pain to make. And you gotta be very careful when you make it that you don't uh, be very careful when you're cutting it out with the bandsaw. And then I sanded everything. And After the thing was sanded, I put a coat of mahogany stain on the mahogany and just varnished the basswood and the walnut. You can get the varnish at a good hardware store, and if you can't get that, use a, a, a urethane. And would you use for a stain, a gel stain or no, a I liquid use, stain? An epiphane, fast drying stain. Okay. Okay, here's a. This is something I use a lot of teak putty and little jars. Sometimes we use different colors and you can mix them together to get the color you want. Teak is harder to find at a hardware store, but you can get it online. I use a lot of this one shot sign painter's paint because it covers good. But if you can't find it, just use any oil based paint. At a hardware store, you can use a uh, Rust-Oleum or anything like that, as long as it's oil base. At least, I like oil base. So, I'm going to give this a light sanding. What grade are you using? 400. You can't sand it very hard over the stain so you get quite a few coats on. When you're sanding varnish, it's okay to sand against the grain like that? With fine paper you can. But not when it's bare wood because you'll leave marks in the wood. Yep. How many coats of varnish would you say it takes to fill that grain in so it's completely smooth and you can get a nice mirror finish? How many coats? Six, seven, maybe eight. Urethane would take more. And how would urethane stand compared to the varnish? Probably about the same.
Are you still planning on putting a boot top on this one? Yep. That's what this owner wants. Most cat boats, or a lot of them in the old days, didn't have boot tops. Right. So you're not going to put a coat on the deck this time because you're going to you'll flip it up and do yeah. the deck separately so you don't get any sags or runs. Well, I did put a coat of sealer on it. The well, sealer goes on pretty easy. This is what we mean by grain. Those darker, shiny spots of the grain showing through. Each coat fills it a little bit more until it's completely smooth. Well, some people use shellac. They put three or four coats on, it dries real fast. I don't particularly like it. If you're making a model out of pine. Oh, pine, yeah. And then you should shellac it a couple of coats before you paint it. That's because the pine will bleed through. This is a tack rag. Pettit Z Spar varnish, fine filter. And what about your brush there, the nylon bristle artist brush? Which one? What do you oh. got in your hand right now? I get them at a art supply store. Most people think you need to use a natural bristle brush with oil based paint and varnish, but that is not true. But if you let them soak in the solvent for a long time, then you can you can ruin them. I suppose if you can't get oil-based paint, you could try getting small cans of water-based. It's easier, dries faster. It won't sand well. No, but and getting the right finish is all about the sanding. Oh, look at the light finally came on. Yeah, good, because it was dark over here. So you're doing the outside edge of the toe rail and the whole rub rail but you'll do yeah. the top of the toe rail with the duck yeah once you get a few coats on at least four or five then if you're careful you can uh, wet sand between coats which makes it smoother you just you know use Six uh, 600 grit or 800 even can go finer. We'll do another video when you're uh, wet sanding.
cross brushing like that. What do you do it for? Less chance of leaving a holiday or maybe getting a run. You can't buy these brushes in a hardware store. You'd probably have to go to a, a good art supply store. They're really worth it. They're wonderful brushes. We use them all the time at the boatyard. Okay, I'm gonna thin this down a little and put the first coat on the rudder. Time to make a new rudder. What happened to the first one? It uh, warped. Oh. What was the rudder made out of? Walnut? Well, the first one was basswood, oh, okay. so I made this one out of walnut and mahogany, the grain going opposite on, so it would be less chance of it whopping. Okay. The back side is mahogany. Tilt it a little bit more toward the light. Yeah. Okay, and, and this side on. is a walnut. So you thinned your varnish for the first coat because you want it to be more like a sealer and penetrate. Yep. If it's too thick, it won't penetrate. This is the next model <coughs> making is called the Sea Hound, which is uh, still sailing today down in Chatham. But I've just basically rough cut it out with the band saw. All right, so for this model, We'll do a video for doing a boot top and one for wet sanding and closer to the finished coat. And then maybe you um, can do another one with a very end with a little polishing and waxing. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Oh, brushes. See how the pots are at an angle with a little clamp to keep the bristles from getting flattened at the bottom of the pot.